Hey guys, Steph here, founder of Nourish, and today's video is all about the throat chakra. We are doing a seven day series of uh, sugar and chakra detox. So we're working our way up. Today is day five, the throat chakra. So our yoga poses to go with today are similar to yesterday. So it's these back bends, these heart openers, these throat openers. And today's five minute of yoga, we're actually gonna be doing cat cow pose with lion's breath. Lion's breath, nobody wants to do. They're always embarrassed, but it's so wonderful. So um, that's the benefit of doing this online. You don't have to be embarrassed. You can do this in your room. Um, close the office door. Lion's breath is the one where you stick your tongue out, you breathe out, and you're looking up to the sky. <sighs> nobody wants to do that in yoga class. If you're embarrassed, you don't have to make that <sighs> sound. Um, but I encourage you to try it out. So what we're going to be doing is five minutes of this cat cow with lion's breath to open up the throat chakra. So as we're balancing out the chakras or detoxing, all that this means is we're opening them up. It's not balancing that you're, you're imbalanced. It just means opening the energy lines up, which we can do through yoga, through breath work. Um, to cut cravings, it's often because of three things. Um, it's either def uh, you're deficient in something, so we're correcting that with the vitamins, minerals, the supplements that we have you on, the probiotics. Um, it could be habitual, so you're used to eating that afternoon cookie. It could be um, cortisol driven or the third reason, which is stress. That's why we're doing these yoga poses is to tap into that parasympathetic state to calm the nervous systems because if you're exercising and eating healthy but you still have a little belly fat or you're having a hard time losing weight, it's probably cortisol, you're not getting proper sleeps and your stress hormones are all messed up. So that's why we're doing this yoga every damn day and I love the restorative yoga because sometimes we get into a power flow yoga class which is great it's a workout but we're still not tapping into that parasympathetic state that calming of the nervous system so some other good things for the throat chakra are sound and vibration so if you um, know what this is it's a singing bowl and I'll play it for you in just a second um, so a few things you could do at home are if you have baths you could put your ears under the water and just use your voice. You could hum, you could om, you could um, play around with the throat, throat chakra. Um, there's these things, they're called gong baths. I've gone before. It's a bunch of gongs and you lay in a room and basically uh, feel the vibration. So you can also look up online some frequencies, some sound that's really nice. You could put your headphones in because um, the throat, throat chakra is all about this. It's all about sounds and if you feel comfortable you could try oming. Um, and it's just you using this energy system. So I'll show you what this is. Um, if you have one of these at home or you've seen one at a yoga studio, you can play around with it. Um, and you can feel actually the frequency uh, vibrating through your body. So beautiful. Scott got this when he was in Nepal. It goes on for a long time. You'll often hear this at the end of a yoga class. Okay, let's get into this lion's breath, five minutes. And if you missed the last videos, they're all under the video tab and on my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna set our timer. You don't have to worry about looking at your watch. We're doing cat cow pose for five minutes with lion's breath at the top. If you don't feel comfortable making the <laughs> sound, just do uh, stick your tongue out if you can or open your mouth because it's really um, beneficial. Put some music on, five minute timer. All right, here we go. Oh, and today's color is blue for the throat chakra. So, um, standing on all fours, we're gonna be coming through cat cow to um, really warm up the spine. And as we are inhaling up, that's when we're gonna do our lion's breath. So starting in neutral position, um, dropping the Grounding down through the hands, we're gonna be reaching our back up to the sky, curling in with a breath in. 
Exhaling out, you're gonna be doing the opposite motion. So belly drops, throat opens. And if you feel extra spicy, you can add in that lion's breath at the top. <sighs> and you're actually rolling your eyes up and looking up. So we're gonna be doing this for our four minutes. We have four minutes left and we'll just cycle through to open up the throat chakra. Inhales, curling in. Exhaling out. If you feel silly, it's okay. Nobody can see you. Halfway there, two and a half minutes left of this lion's breath, cat cow to open up the throat chakra. You can play around with your uh, vocal cords too if you want to do um, a hum or an ohm instead of the <laughs> you could do that at the top One minute left. Inhaling to raise your back up. Exhaling to do the lion's breath. Extra out. When you're all the way up, try to get an extra little bit out of your lungs. just like that and you're all done for the day. All right, good job guys. So, um, the throat chakra is all, I mean, prana is breath and we use that through all yoga, all chakras, but specifically with the throat chakra. So there's all sorts of cool prana or breath work that you can do. Breath of fire is a nice one, um, where you're, you're going out, 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 out. So it's really energizing. If you are interested in any of that, you can search the good old Google, Google web for pranic breathing or breath work. Um, and I'll redo our affirmations for the throat chakra here. Um, you can play around with vibrations of humming and oming. Um, 
in your throat as well. If you get the chance to hit up a gong bath, those are really cool. I've, I've gone to them before. You basically lay in the room and get to just feel the vibrations of all the, they have a bunch of huge gongs and singing bowls and they play them and you get to lay there and enjoy. Okay, so our day five affirmations, you have this in your email, but I'll read you them here. It's, I speak my truth. I am fully alive and creative. I share my authentic voice with the world. I speak honestly and authentically. I speak and live from a place of absolute integrity. I express my creativity fully. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. If you want to join next round, we do a Sunday setup. Monday to Friday is the intense, the intense, the food portion. And then Saturday, Sunday, we wrap it up. So today is the last day of the food portion for those of you who joined us this week. Saturday, Sunday, we're going to continue on with the um, third eye chakra and the crown chakra, um, the yoga part of it, but we're letting go of the food stuff and we're slowly integrating this into our lives and creating your maintenance plan to move forward. Um, so if you want to join, it's seven day chakra sugar detox on my site, on the nourish site. Send me a message if you can't find it. Um, and let us know if you're following along, how you're doing. Congratulations on day five. You're all um, the last day of your food portion. And what I mean by the food portion is um, with the program, it's 129 in total. You get a kit which has your probiotics um, to reset the gut, your vitamins, minerals, antioxidants um, to correct any deficiencies if, you, if your cravings are because of deficiencies as well as your shakes or meal replacements for those of you who hate cooking, don't want to be caught dead in the kitchen, um, your, you need that kind of really quick meal um, where you can replace your, our second reason for cravings is habits. So if you're going to go for that cookie, you instead go for that shake. If you're raiding the cupboards when you come home from work, instead you go and you make that shake. So our body and mind, we love when we have something to focus on and that's what we do in this program is we overload you with what you're going to do so you don't worry about what you're doing wrong. All right. Um, and some of our other poses, if you are into yoga, um, to open up the throat chakra would be plow pose. That's the one where you're totally back, um, kind of folded over yourself. Camel pose, fish pose, and then any back bend, which means heart openers. My favorite is restorative. So if you love yoga classes, if you can get yourself to a restorative yoga class or a yin yoga class, that's going to tap you into that parasympathetic state, which will address our third reason for cravings, which is we're stressed out. Cortisol kills. Um, so whatever you have to do for five minutes, even just 60 seconds a day to focus on the breath, calm down the nervous system you're doing yourself wonders and that might actually be the missing piece if you're exercising and eating healthy but you still have a spare tire all right guys i'm steph founder of nourish and i'll see you tomorrow for the third eye chakra and that color is purple and then we're on to the crown chakra pink all right i'll talk to you soon Bye bye